In this tutorial, you will discover how to display an augmented reality a video with a transparent background. As you can see in the following example, this effect allows you to create hologram effects and many other things. There are two methods to get this result. In this video, we will focus on the second one. A little more complex, but more qualitative than the first method explained in the previous tutorial. Create and export a video with a transparent background, then integrate it into the Bego augmented reality platform. First, download the zip package in the description of this video. It contains an After Effects template file that you can reuse whenever you want to create a video with a transparent background. Of course, you will also need your video, which you have previously recorded on a green or blue background, or download from the internet, for example. Open the file alpha underscore video and alpha underscore template. Template contains three compositions overview, final scene, and composition. First of all, we'll focus on the last one, which will contain your video file. Please replace the file example video.mp4 with your video by doing right click replace video file. Then, select the video to optimize. You will note that the four effects are already applied to your video. The color light effect will allow you to select the color to delete in your video. Here, you will select the background. You can play with the effect settings if the quality of the original green background is not really good. The roof and hedges effect will allow you to improve the border of the elements still present in your video. The border should not be too blurry or too rough. You have to find the balance. You can, of course, play with the effect settings. The brightness and contrast effect will allow you to boost the lightning of your video elements. The sharp mask effect will allow you to highlight the element of your video. Feel free to exaggerate the strength in it of your element because during the next step of this tutorial, the quality of the video will be slightly reduced and will be a little more blurry. It will allow you to counterbalance. The single color background has been removed. The final scene composition will allow you to apply global effect or change to your scene. Don't forget to adapt the dimension of your composition to your video by doing right click composition settings. In this case, we are reducing the width. The overview composition will allow you to see your final scene. We will export the video to MP4 as this format doesn't support transparent background. We need to duplicate the video in a rather specific way. Your video must be present on the upper part, then duplicate in a black and white format on the lower part. Normally, everything is done automatically in this template. Now, export your video. As we want an output format in MP4, we will use the Adobe Media Encoder software. To do that, go in Menu, Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Rendering Cube. Wait a moment while Adobe Media Encoder starts. Click on the small hash 264 to adjust the export settings. Please respect as much as possible the parameter display on this tutorial on the right column. Then select the output folder on the name of the MP4 file. Press OK, then press the small arrow at the top right to start rendering. Wait until the blue loading bar is complete. We now come to the second step, where you will have to convert your video with the FFmpeg library. To do this, we will recommend you to use an online video converter, such as video.online-conver.com. This converter will not only automatically convert your video with the FFmpeg library, but we also allow you to change some of your video settings again. Import the video you just exported.
I recommend you to reduce the resolution of your video so that it does not exceed about 1000 pixels on the larger side width or height, while maintaining the same ratio. Reduce the bit rate, it shouldn't exceed 700 kilobits per second. Start the conversion and then download the output file. For the third and final step of this tutorial, please log into your BearGo account at go.beartobe.com, create a marker and add a video interaction. Edit your video interaction and add your final optimized and converted video inside. and check the optimized video for the platform box unless you have skipped the second step of this tutorial. If you do that, the quality of your video may be impacted since this automatic optimization will not give you the possibility to adjust the optimization setting of your video They will be automatically defined. Check the box, autoplay on texture and with channel alpha. Save. Congratulations! You have imported a video with a transparent background you can discover the result by scanning the marker with your augmented reality application.